from WXII 12 News, this is breaking news. North Carolina's new congressional map is heading back to court. State Republicans filed an appeal after their map was rejected. Democrats are also challenging the new state Senate map, so essentially nobody is happy. WXI 12's Bill O'Neill joins us live tonight in Greensboro. Bill, there is a lot to unpack here, and it's changing by the minute. I tell you, that is the truth, Kenny. There is an awful lot to talk about when it comes to redistricting. The latest move coming late this afternoon, the North Carolina League of Conservation Voters announcing that they would challenge the decision made on the state Senate map. Now, earlier today, the governor criticized that map. He put out a statement saying, quote, today's decision allows a blatantly unfair and unconstitutional state Senate map that may have been the worst of the bunch. That is bad for North Carolina because it strips voters of their voice in our democracy. Our elections should not go forward until we have fair constitutional maps. Now, Democrats had a hard time with Republicans in the Senate. They voted along party lines on that Senate map. Meantime, the map in the House received almost unanimous support. And right now, that House map is the only one still standing. We're going to have to wait and see what the state Supreme Court decides about both that Senate map as well as the congressional map. In the meantime, filing for office scheduled to begin tomorrow morning. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.